morning, everyone. How are you today? It's almost two weeks now. It's Friday, and usually we meet in class. But today, I'm going to show you an interesting book. We're going to talk about dinosaur. I believe some of you like dinosaurs, or even you have a favorite dinosaur. So what's your favorite dinosaur? Mm, how about your dad? How about your mom? Have you ever asked them, mom, dad, what's your favorite dinosaur? Okay, now take a look at here. I've got an interesting book about dinosaur. Mm, and as you can see, can you guess what dinosaurs are they? My son, he said his favorite dinosaur is T-Rex, the king of the dino, he said. We work on our assignment today and we do the tutorial to make the flat book. Let's see what is it inside the book first. Okay, now let's open first. Yeah, right. As you can see, dinosaur is an animal that lived long, long, long time ago. It's no longer, they are no longer exist. And it's been about 65 million years ago. And some theories say that they died or they extinct because of the meteor, because of the earthquake and some other natural disaster. All right, now let's see. Uh, dinosaur, they not only live on land. Some dinosaur are also live in the deep sea. Some of them even rule the air. They can fly. Now, here you go. Some of the famous predator. Can you guess what dinosaur is it? Yay! This is T-Rex. Wow, huge and big. T-Rex known as the king of the dino, just like a king uh, yeah, of the jungle, like lion. Because probably T-Rex is the most how to say that? Ferocious. He's the easily angry, easily uh, what? Uh, yeah, they like eat meat basically. And take a look at there. Take a look at the teeth. It said they they never lose tooth. So if they lose tooth, they will get it right away. And it's about 23 centimeter or 9 inch each. So one tooth. Right. Let's see the other dinosaur now. Well, I've asked some parents and they say this is their famous or this is their favorite. The Triceratops. They like it mostly because... Well, Triceratops doesn't eat meat, and like they don't hurt other dinosaurs. This is a frill. Triceratops has a frill, so it's like a slayer, like in Cobra, or if you ever heard or have you ever seen about lizard in Brazil. Well, Triceratops caught Triceratops because they've got three horns. One, two, three. And one important thing about it, that, look, it's got a parrot mouth, like a bird. Well, they've got teeth, but they don't eat meat. They eat leaves, they eat trees. Now, I've told you before that we've got dinosaur that rule the sky. Take a look at that. The famous one, of course, can you guess? Huh. There you go. Good. They run not dog. Well, we are not sure with the color, but the ranodon is really huge. It can be as three times bigger as an adult. Well, yeah, a man adult. And they usually eat fits. And the one who rolled the sea is Tara. Well, it's a bit difficult to spell then. 
Leo play Rodon. Have you ever heard that? Leo play Rodon. It is said it's Leo play Rodon. It's like a sea dragon or sea crocodile. So the ancestor of our crocodile now. Well, of course, they usually eat. Uh, just like crocodile now, they usually eat any dinosaur they go, reach the river or reach the sea, or fish, any dino fish. And not only Leopleurodon, the other sea dino are, ah, there you go, the famous Megalodon. I think you know Megalodon better than me. So, skip that. And also, some dinosaurs, they like to eat eggs. And they have beautiful feathers too. Like this. Well, it's even harder to say. It's Therizinosaurus. Can you see the feathers? Yeah. And they also have kind of like a necks around the mouth. Looks like a chicken. But they also have a gigantic claws. It says that this gigantic claws is to open an egg. All right. Later on, when we do our flat book, you can find your own resource. It can be a book like this, or you can Google in the internet. So you can find a picture, you can find information, or if you don't have a printer at home, you can draw it yourself. Okay, now take a look at here. Uh, in the instruction, I ask you to ask your parents, either mom or dad, about their favorite dinosaur. So you can ask them, mom, which is your favorite dinosaur? Why do you like it? Mm, do you like it because they eat meat? Because they are strong? Or because, well, they have beautiful colors, for example. Take note of that. And don't forget to write it. And later on, we're going to make a flat book out of it. Here. So this is what we need to make the flat. I use, well, this is a recycled paper. See, it's a recycle. So take an F4, an F4 paper. Uh, yeah. I think color is better. But if you don't have color, it's fine. So what you need to do first is to divide it into three, just like our last flat boat. Look, see? So left the one in the middle a bit bigger. So later you can fold it like a book like this. See? One, two, three. And for the title later, here is the fun fact. So write everything, any information that you like, and then the picture, here you go, see, my son helped me to draw it, uh, this is a three ceratops, does it look like three ceratops? Later on, put your picture over there, and later you can explain parts of the body and things, and then... Here, the third part is your opinion. Well, here I write mom opinion. Okay? And I ask you to also prepare some origami, right? So, if you use a big origami, you can just use one or two and cut it into two, like this. And for the fun fact, see? For the fun facts, write first before you paste it there. Yeah? So here I write, uh, three ceratops is the only dino has a parrot-like mouth. So remember that? That I talked about the parrot-like mouth. And huge head with a frill or a collar around the neck. And some other, I haven't write it yet. Then after that, I will paste it here on the first on the first page, well, I don't have glue, so I use, yeah, put it there. 
don't worry, you don't have to rush making this. Uh, later, to collect your assignment, you just take a photo of your finished flat book. Just one photo. You don't need to uh, send more than one photo. And the flat book itself, if you have finished it, you can give it to me later when we go back to school. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I use markers, but if you feel comfortable to use pen or crayon or other tools, it's fine. Yeah. So it uh, doesn't have to be markers. There. And also for this, I put there. Yeah, this. Oh, and here. This is what I write about mom opinion. So my mom said she likes it because it has three horns. Also, it doesn't eat meat. So it's not scary. And although it's not scary, it can still fight with the Rex. Well, imagine if you don't have the three horns and you fight the Rex. So that would be difficult, right? Okay, so the last one, put it there. Wait. Oops, it's a bit difficult there. Mm hmm. Now the picture. Well, it's a bit bigger, but it's okay. I can close. So, yeah, there. Better put it here. And all right, let's see. Okay. So we almost finished, just a little bit more. Now, with the picture, you can start writing about the parts of the body. So for example, here, I write frill. And before I forget, I need to check my book. So, look, the frill Span 1.8 meters. So I can write there 1.8 meter. Right? And then, ooh, the body has a thick skin like a bulletproof vest. So I can write it there. Take. Skin. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, later, if you also choose three ceratops, you can talk about their horns, three horns, the pig mouth, and the feet, and find other information about three ceratops or any of your mom or dad favorite dino. Remember, it's your mom or dad opinion. So not your favorite, but your mom or your dad favorite dino so you need to ask them you need to interview them okay right that's all for today thank you everyone